Hello, this is GamerX7 and today I'm going to be showing you how to build these two very simple nether bases. So, let's go. So, here we have a slightly mob proofed one. No mobs can actually get in here because of the fences. And uh, if you go in here, it is pretty cramped but it has everything you need. It has your elytra. It has some golden boots so that the piglins won't attack you. It has a weapon and your armor and an elytra. So here we have some storage space. There's a short and the armor stand is standing on top of a shulker box, which has the glowstone needed to power this, your respawn anchor. And then if we go upstairs here, we have a gas shooting area or really you can shoot any mobs from here so like that you can actually attack any mobs and it's pretty well lit we have some soul torches and some fence posts to make this which is a very simple light post trick and then here we have a slightly more fortified one that's made almost 100% of basalt meaning it has a very hard time blowing up and here we have mostly diamond armor with a little bit of gold a netherite sword a gigantic uh, double chest to for storage and behind the armor stand there's a chest full of glowstone to power your respawn anchor and this one here also happens to have a gas shooting station but the but you can ac only access it with these vines. So you come up through here and you can have simple access to the whole top and then to get out you just jump off. So let's start out with this one. So you need a 9x9 nine nine area to build this and I have all the materials I need except for the fence gates in my hands so first you're gonna want to surround this whole place with fence gates so I'll be right back with that complete so here five away from that one or really four this one being the first one two three four and then on the fifth one we'll place our fence gates and uh, then right after that we'll get our polished blackstone bricks and we'll make the foundation for this oh. so actually real quick let's place a couple of these warped slabs so we'll place a couple of these and if you look over here there's only a one block space here and here and the rest is completely uh, closed in like that so we'll leave one over here leave that space over there go over here leave this space and then we go we go down still leaving that space and then With just one space after that, we should place the door there. So, real quick, let's just add our polished blackstone bricks. Make sure you don't fill the inside, and I'll be right back. So, I'm back, and as you can see, this is all just polished blackstone bricks. You'll place in your warped door, like, like so, and then you will get your crimson slabs or you can just use crimson blocks in fact I'll just grab some of those because it will make it much much quicker so let's see here we are although we will be needing slabs on itself later so make sure you don't actually put away your slabs and so we'll do here one skip two one two three four 
one, two, and we should be skipping two, yes. So that will leave enough room for your windows, which I will be using light blue stained glass. One, two, one, two. And then you cap it off with another layer of crimson planks. And all right, so I'm back. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing two warped slabs on top of each of these crimson blocks. And I actually use blocks, but I'm not going to actually be going to pick up the blocks, so I'm just going to be placing slabs all over the place. Um, and after you do that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the stairs warped stairs actually and some crimson slabs so you might as well go ahead and take those out which I will be doing right now all right so here we've already done what we needed to do with the slabs and if we go back oh and if we go back in here we'll see that the roof is made of slabs So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to grab our slabs and we're going to place them all down. Although, we may need to be removing some after this. But either way, just place them all down. And then, after that, you're going to start placing in your stairs. So, what you're going to do is you're gonna place one on each of these and then you're gonna go over here and uh, place one extra down like that on both sides and then we're gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing so two three four five and six and then after that we're going to be placing another set of stairs right on top of those. And here we're going to need to be removing this section. So really just a layer with two instead of four so don't actually cover up the whole roof. Although if you want to, to give yourself like the bearings for it then you absolutely can oh and I completely forgot to do that so if you want to you can just do that but look, at the same time it also saves you a lot and I do mean a lot of time placing down the slab not placing down the slabs actually so we cap that off and then we re get our crimson slabs and we'll place them at the top of these stairs, like so, on both sides. And there's that. And then we'll get our polished black stone wall and we'll cap off the whole top. like so and so like that you have a little wall to hide behind whenever the gas starts shooting you and blackstone also has a hard time exploding but on the other hand the wood doesn't so let's get started with the interior and here we're gonna be using a trapdoor crimson and then we go over to the roof here skip one and bam and then you place down a trap door preferably facing this direction let's go down This is a lot harder than I thought. Anywho, we'll go down 
let's get some ladders and we have that then here is where a chauffeur box is going to be going so let's go ahead and grab that and make sure it's facing right side up and then a quick visit to our original and we'll see that in the interior there is the storage chest and a warped slab with your respawn anchor on top So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go over here, place a slab, and then we'll get our respawn anchor right here. We can get rid of the shulker box. And. Bam. There's the respawn anchor. And then here we'll be placing our chest for storage. And then here is where our armor stand is going to be going. So I'm just going to place down the armor stand. I'm not going to be placing down all the stuff in it. So. There's the armor stand. And that's actually it for this one. So now let's go build this fortress. Okay, so in this one, we're going to be needing a six by eight little place. So here we have the double chest, the respawn anchor, and the glowstone chest along with your armor so let's go ahead and build that so as you can see from over there it skips one block and goes straight in so what we'll be doing is we're going to be grabbing our regular basalt and place it down skipping one block from each place over here. I'll be right back with this place completely covered in basalt. So here we have all the basalt in and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to add another piece of basalt here and then one more and then we're gonna get our glass out. Place one, two, one, two. In fact, let's just go over here and place Two there. Okay. Get our regular basalt. Two. One, two. And then we're going to get our polished basalt and make sure it's all to the side like this to get a really, really good texture going. So I'll be right back. So this side over here is completely identical to this side over here. And that's not supposed to be that tall. Okay, so let's just break that right there. And in fact, the height could actually be really useful because like you can actually reach a really good heights, but that was starting to look kind of weird. Um, anywho. So now we'll get out our crying obsidian and one in from each of these we're going to place these down and oh I almost forgot we need to take these two out and here is where our doors are going to be going. Like so. Although.
Right. So you need to go inside and place down your doors. Okay. So now, once again, for your crying obsidian, you need to go over here, place one, two, three, four, and on top of each of these, we're actually going to be, to be placing one black stone wall. And then, after that, what we're going to be doing is placing one black stone wall, and then one red nether brick wall. And something that I like to do is do all nether brick wall at first. And then, what I do is I go over here, skip this one, and replace it with black stone here, and then there. And then that's that for that. And then twisting vines. What we're gonna do is go over here and over here and start placing them down until let's just say that height over there. So they'll be going about like that. Just one above this one over here in fact let's just do that a bit higher and bam and there you have the house and so now let's do the interior okay so let's come over here and grab our chests and so going to be placing one chest here and one double chest here because here is where our respawn anchor is going to be going and then what we're going to do is place our armor stand right here so now let's go about to light this up so I'm actually going to be lighting both of them up at this specific moment. So let's start off with our little wooden cabin here. So as we see here there's two torches. So let's get our soul torches here and place one here and one here like over there. Get our soul lanterns and place one on each of these corners. Return to our soul torches and we'll go down and then what we're going to do is come over here, place one, two, one, and two, and then come over here and actually I forgot we need to get our fence posts which I got rid of for some reason. So let's grab those. So three. And then we're going to, from this way, come one in. One, two, three. And. Well, lantern. And similarly on the other side, come one in. On this one and one two three well and lantern and then actually if we look on the inside well I cannot move today if we come here on the inside we'll see that there's actually two lanterns over here so let's go and get those. Why? Anywho, just come over here. One, two. Let's just close it up. And that's this house all lit up. So now for our bunker style house, get our torches and place one 
in front of each basalt, like so. One, two, and then we're going we're going to place two torches in the back. One, two, and then we're going to grab our fence posts once more and place one here, one here, and then hang your lantern from the top. Same thing on this side right here. One, two, lantern. And now to get the inside lit up, what we're going to do is just place one torch over there. So let's get our torches out. Come over here and place one torch. And that's it for today everybody. So thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.